My name is Torbjörn Turnquist. I'm a professor in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at Tulane. Uh, more specifically, I'm a quaternary scientist. Uh, the quaternary is the most recent portion of Earth history, the last two million years. And it's a time of the great ice ages. And I'm specifically interested in the huge transformation of the Earth that happened coming out of the last ice age when ice sheets melted at very high rates and sea level rose by a large amount. Uh, there is a lot of interest in this uh, time period because it serves as a very useful analog for the future of the Earth due to climate change. So to give a little bit of perspective, uh, at the peak of the last ice age, which was around 20,000 years ago, sea level was about 130 meters or 400 feet lower than it is today. Um, and all that ocean water was locked up in these big ice sheets. And the biggest one was the Laurentide ice sheet, which covered most of Canada and also northern portions of the United States. The Laurentide ice sheet was completely gone around 7,000 years ago. So our interest is primarily in the time period between 8 and 10,000 years ago, when both the Laurentide ice sheet and Antarctica were melting very fast. But the one thing we don't really know very well is which one contributed most meltwater to the ocean. And that is something we really would like to better understand because these big meltwater flows can cause major disruptions to the global climate system. The area around New Orleans is uniquely suited to study past sea level change. And we do that by uh, collecting sediment cores. So what we see here is a sediment core that was taken just two days ago, uh, about 25 miles from here by uh, uh, Leo Vetter, who is one of my postdocs. And um, this core section we're looking at is around 80 feet or 25 meters below the surface, so below present sea level. And what we see is this gray unit uh, of mud that is probably around 80,000 years old. And then we see this very abrupt transition into dark gray peat. Peat is very organic rich material and we can look at the plant remains that show us that it was formed in a marsh. And if we look at modern marshes, we know that they occur right above sea level. So basically this preserved marsh deposit tells us that sea level was once 25 meters lower than it is today. We then measure the age of this marsh peat with radiocarbon dating. And because these cores were just collected, we have yet to do it. But let me make a prediction and it's very likely that this peat is going to be somewhere between nine and 10,000 years old. Now, the really important thing, of course, is that if we collect a larger number of these cores with peat from different elevations, we can actually put it together and create a sea level curve. And from that, we can derive rates of sea level rise in the past. And remember, this material was formed at the end of the last ice age when sea level likely rose somewhere between five and 10 millimeters per year. Now at present, global sea level is rising around three millimeters per year, but it is likely that towards the end of this century, because of global warming, sea level will actually be rising in the same types of rates as what happened when this peat formed. So this shows that we can look at Earth history to better understand what might await us in the future. Thanks for listening.